does the mind work? How is it that we are what we are? We think what we think and we're all doing it all the time. I'm exploring the physical aspects of like, what is a neuron and what does it do, but also what does it mean? I don't have the answers, but I mean, that's what the point of the paintings are. My name is Natalia Garcia Lee. I am a visual artist, and my main interest is how humans behave as a species. I started exploring neuroscience as basically a metaphor for where all of our behavior as a species originates. It's the innate things that drive us to uh, seek shelter, food, safety, and society. These are all things that we do across cultures and across time. This series, Monkey Mind, started with a, the Buddhist idea of a human having two minds. There's horse mind, analytical, um, organized, and then there's monkey mind, which is more reactive and emotional. This is what I first see when I think of monkey mind. And then the painting that are exploring different aspects of what I thought was interesting. Solid state is a computer term, which is describing the actual physical parts of, of the computer. So I just took that and thought, well, the actual physical parts of what is your mind is your brain. Engram is one memory, one thought, or one feeling. You know, I always thought of a memory as like this one thing that resides somewhere. But actually, what happens is, is that as a result of stimuli, your brain, it triggers clusters of neurons. Memory is literally everything that we do all day long. Signal transmission, it's color-coded, so that each color would represent like a specific idea, and you can follow it along, and at some point it will either merge with another color, disappear, run off the edge of the painting, and I like that because then you have to start again and maybe you'd start with a different color and end up somewhere else. Kind of like what your ideas are doing in your head all the time. So it's a way of creating space and movement in the painting. Although it's the Buddhist first ones at work, really thinking about the mind as something that maybe you could control or try to figure out, they're not the only ones and everybody is asking the same questions. What I learned from making all the different levels of the work is that I couldn't find a particular thing that was us. And so it's very interesting because your mind is basically um, a process. It's not a thing. There was no one part was like, oh, that's where all your memories are. That's where all your feelings are. It's more of the process of the whole thing.